Hello everyone, this is Hemi from Korea now with our weekly K-Buzz. In today's K-Buzz, we will start with exciting news about actor Kim Son ho debuting on the big screen in the upcoming film The Child. Actor Kim Son ho will play a ruthless villain in the upcoming crime action film The Child, marking his debut on the big screen. The story revolves around Marco, an illegal boxer of mixed Filipino and Korean descendant who searches for his Korean father and encounters several villains. Kim plays a mysterious man who chases after Marco, played by rookie actor Kang Taeju. Kim rose to stardom in the 2021 series Hometown Cha Cha Cha, but took a two-year hiatus following public allegations from his ex-girlfriend, accusing him of coercing her into having an abortion. During a press conference on Monday, the 37-year-old actor apologized again and called attention to the film. Director Park Kun Jong, best known for his crime noir film New World and horror films The Witch Part 1 and 2, said his latest work is lighter than his past works. 그냥 아 이번 영화는 기존의 제 영화들하고 조금 다르게 조금 빠르다고 느끼실 수 있을 거예요. 조금 네, 스피드가 조금 있는 영화고요. According to Next Entertainment World, its local distributor, the child has been pre-sold in North America and several Asian countries, including Taiwan, Thailand, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia. The film will hit local theaters on June 21st. Moving on, we will cover some updates regarding Yoo In's drug scandal. Actor Yoo In attended a court hearing on Wednesday to decide whether to issue an arrest warrant over his alleged use of five illegal drugs. Yoo appeared at the Seoul Central District Court in the morning to be present at the hearing on a warrant request filed against him by the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency last week over claims he may try to destroy evidence. The court rejected the arrest warrant, saying Yu is unlikely to destroy evidence or flee as he admitted to most of the drug charges. The 37-year-old actor, whose legal name is Om Hong Shik, is accused of illegally using five different drugs for non-medical purposes since 2020, propofol marijuana, cocaine, ketamine, and zolpidem, and insomnia medication. The court said Yu regrets smoking marijuana and has no previous record of drug crimes, while his use of cocaine is still a point of contention. Following the court decision, Yu left Seoul Mapo Police Station late at night. 뭐 그건 제가 판단할 문제는 아닌 것 같고요. 어, 법원에서 내려주신 판단에 대해 존중하고 감사한 마음입니다. 앞으로 남은 절차에 성실히 임하면서 제가, 제가 할수 있는 소명들 해 나가도록 하겠습니다. As he headed to a car, water was thrown at the actor and a 500 milliliter plastic bottle hit him on the back. Previously, you have reportedly denied allegations during two rounds of police questioning. At the time, he had partially admitted to smoking marijuana, but insisted that using propofol, ketamine, and others was for medical purposes. Lastly, on the brighter side, we have news about SM Entertainment announcing three new groups to debut in 2023. SM Entertainment announced that it will introduce three new groups this year, including a new NCT subunit. The agency's CEO, Chang Chol Hyuk, announced the news in a YouTube video titled SM 3.0 New IP 2023. The three new teams to debut this year are a new NCT subunit based in Japan, a new boy group, and a new girl group. 현재 준비 중인 NCT의 새로운 팀은 무한 확장의 마지막 장인 만큼 지역 연고라는 세계관에 더욱 부합할 수 있는 차별화된 팀을 만들고자 합니다. The new NCT group will focus on Japanese members. The agency will also collaborate with Japanese media companies to unveil the group's debut process. As for the new boy group, former NCT members Song Chan and Shotaro will join the lineup alongside SM rookies Eunseok and Seunghan. Group, the agency's first girl group to debut in three years since ESPA, 
will debut in the fourth quarter of this year. Meanwhile, NCT's Taeyong will release his first solo mini album on June 5th, titled Shalala, featuring seven tracks. That was it for this week's K Buzz. Are you excited to watch The Child? Also, what do you think about UIN's drug scandal and SM's new groups? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Kiryana for more updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!